Hi guys, Slee from Diecast Fix Ruppers. Um, I was going to say just a quickie, but you never know. These always turn from quickies to uh, long ones. So I'm just going to do uh, two little unboxings, or slightly small unboxings. First one is one for I got uh, I got from a, a hospice, um, a Dr Kershaw's charity shop. Uh, I'm always popping in and they always seem to have some decent buys. So, uh, first of all, let's go on. I'm not really a big bus fanatic, but just saw these had to take them. There's four little buttes. Not in bad nick, actually. Uh, it's just that... Uh, the cream one there, which I could actually probably do into a bit of a banger. Kevin Vincent, yeah? What do you reckon? Or oh, I could change them all into bangers. Or just one. Or just keep them all. I don't know. And so on a force card. Leave them at that. Next. Um, Mercedes uh, truck. Now just keep a count on these because I had to do a bit of wheel of daily in a charity shop, yeah. Um put that to one side. And this little cab, taxi cab. I like this. Nice as it is. Can't make out because it's been like not overpainted, it it factory overpainted, so you can't make out what it is. I've might be a laid or oh, I don't know. Answer the postcard, let us know. And then I saw this little beauty, Dale Earnhardt, nice car. So I thought, yeah, might be him. Happy days. Now, she brought another bag out from the back um, and said, oh, there's some bits and bobs in here, I can just go through them. What did I pull out? Another Dale Earnhardt, but this is 124 scale. So oh, happy days. And then I pulled out at Jeff Gordon's. So these are both 2002 uh, NASCARs. Um, 124 scale, again, like I said. So I had all them. So that little lot come to a grand total of £6. Which I'm happy with. Don't sound it, but I am happy with that. And then we uh, passed by um, a cancer shop when we was in Hyde uh, one day. And there was nothing about in any of the shops. They were all rubbish. Um, I just saw this box of Meccano in the cancer shop. one ninety five, Not checked. But... I've been through it quickly and I think there might be a couple of bits missing but nothing to write all home about. Everything, all the wheels are there anyway. So we can make something out of it. Um, there you go. At $1.95. Now, we nipped over to uh, Marsden uh, last week, which is Yorkshire Way. Uh, it's about 20 minutes from where we live. And my sister's just moved over there. But we nipped over anyway um, to just drop some logs off for the log burner. Um, they weren't in there as at work, so just stashed them from. And we nipped in the uh, cuckoo. The cuckoo shop, which is uh, in the village. And they have a charity shop as well. Uh, and there was a couple of these in. Now uh, these are scratch built. Dioramas, that's of the allotment, and there was there was four actually, and I only bought two, and in hindsight, I just wish I'd have bought all the four, and they had sticky pads on them, which um, there you go, Mars doing the cuckoo stop, it's the uh, first one's the allotment, this one's the building yard, um, yeah, they had a price tag of three pounds on them, which for scratch built, uh, you know what I mean? They didn't. All right, they're a bit. I don't know. 
I thought they were worth it anyway because, you know, someone's took the time out just to build that. And it only might be a bit of scrap piece of wood and some bits of balsa with a bit of paper on them, with brick wood paper, a bit of paint, and it's done. So I appreciated it. Um, and like I said, they were £3. And they had been in the shop when they're that long. The writing was faded, and only on one of them you could actually make out it was £3. So the lady said, because it's faded and you're having them, I will charge you £2. So I ended up having the both. But like I said, again, in hindsight, I wish I'd have had all four. Just got them two, went away. The following week, I went up to my sister's. We went up for a brew. Um, we had a look in the cuckoo shop window and they're gone. So, my fault. Anyway, there you go. Live and learn. Right, next... We went to uh, Stafford for the obligatory toy fair and met up with the DMC crew, the diecast modelling community. Paul Jones, Andy Boyne, Luke Sansom, Martin Durr, myself and Jackie and Luke's son, which I can't for the life think what he's called now, bless him. But we all met up there. Um, parked up near each other well there was already there when we got there we decided last minute um, got there jumped it, jumped half the queue because Paul and the Paul and Cole was already halfway up the queue so we got in um, and just had a little wander around um, and first stall I come to I, bang I'd only been there about two minutes and I saw my first thing so I dived in it must have been a, a police car sort of thing I didn't have anything in my head what I wanted there we go three pounds of anyone's money if anything it just has a dodgy tailgate it won't stay up a uh, little bit of putty or something if, to be quite honest, it's only going to be static anyway, so it doesn't really matter as long as it stays up there like that. It's not going to be played with. Um, again, on the police theme, um, I don't know what it will actually. It was just same stall, £3, Boy Cartina. All the glasses there. All what's missing is the blue beacon, which... We can either get or fabricate. But at the moment in time, I don't want to be touching these yet. So they get all the proper decals. I don't want to be stripping them and making them into a normal cartina. This, that and the other. Uh, I can't understand why they did, did them in the three door. Because, I don't know. Mind you, some of the first police cars were three door. Um... Can't remember where it, then there was this jag. And like I said, we were, it just seemed to be a pl bit of a police theme. I not a clue where it all came from that. Um, had a wander around. And to be quite honest, there weren't that much what I wanted or what um, were for sale. Um, so that was basically it until I got to another stall where I saw another NASCAR. So this is from a different um, company. The guy said, and I'll tell you what, he's a decent guy now. Um, he said, make me an offer. He said, I'll give you, I'll give you a price. We'll sort out and. I said how much and he said fiver and I said well and I don't like haggling really to be quite honest because half the time when he asked the decent prices at the toy fair and I said four quid and he was happy enough to take four quid for it so there you go and I only paid what I don't know how much six quid for all that lot so I don't I get to uh, guess how much them NASCARs were out of that six quid but there you go so that's my little collection of NASCARs now what I'm starting to collect um then coming to the end of the the um fur we came out um 
left some left the rest of the guys inside. They went into the cafe for something to eat. Me and Jackie went back to the car because we took sandwiches and stuff. Um, and then we all met up again because it was more or less at the end of the day. Uh, we met up in the on the field car park. And we did a bit of a swapsies. I'll be putting pictures all in this anyway, but we did a bit of a swapsies from car boots. Stuff I'd taken down and stuff people had brought, you know, to give away and to swap and what they wanted. Um, so Martin Dare brought me a load of Land Rover stuff. The Range Rover Classic there. Fire again. <laughs> fire at these. Fire. Fireworks. Fire uh, vehicles. Another Range Rover. Looks like the Rally Spec. Um, the L322, which is the same as my real life one. So I'm planning on painting that one the same colour as mine. Um, can I get around to it? Take that bumper thingy off there because. I don't know what they thought when they were building them because they're just big blocks of plastic. What well, just I don't know. And then Jackie spots this. I didn't even see it, me. It just she said, What about that there? And it was hidden under a load of rubbish on the stall inside. Um, and it was a Spectrum car. Um, now I've I've wanted one of these, never thinking I won't get one under under a tenner. Um, the noise works, the spark doesn't, so it's going to be a strip down and have a look. But I'm going to be painting this up in another colour. Um, Andy Boyne is actually doing me some decals for the doors. He's going to be sending them off for me. Bless you, my friend. So. Just need the aerial, which I might either fabric, fabricate or I can get one on eBay. I've seen them, a couple of quid. Um, don't know what I'm doing yet. If the spark doesn't work, and now I'm going to go with the way um, I've seen someone do these windows and see how they turn out. It's going to be something a bit different, that. So, yeah, happy with that. Mess about with that one. Right, back to the swapsies and scrounging out of cars. <laughs> it was like, oh, it went mad. Um, we was all in and out in each other's... Well, we're not in mine, because I just took the bag of cars out what I brought. But we were in and out of uh, Martin Durr's and Andy Bowen's van and uh, Luke's car. Scavenging this, scavenging that. They brought some baskets of cars, which... And Paul Jones. Uh, just help yourselves, they said. And when I found these, I said... Luke, are you sure you're giving these away? Now, I've got one of these, but I need some bits off this for my other one. Man from Uncle. You iron it? You iron it? What do you iron it? What am I saying they iron it for? Super old mobile. It's cause. There was this and all, the iron it, the green iron it. It just needs tightening up here and there. Like when we all get old, things start sagging a little bit. But everything else is there. Just need a couple of tyres. The chap's still there. The green eye on it. Bang, bang, bang. Uh, I've seen them on your eBay. You can get the discs for this. And the to torpedo for the front. So, until I get it working, I don't know what I need yet. And I just need the decal for the roof. So, not going to be doing that right yet. Like everything else, it's all put on hold. Uh, there's also this Butte Riviera, which is the. Let's get it in focus. It's the. I can't remember. Is it Lightomatic or. I can't remember. What you, you put a torch through there and it. Lights head for headlights up. Normally, I've got on one of my rovers. Uh, it's in the back rear window, and you put your torch light in there, and it, it lights up your headlights. Bit of a gimmick, but that's what they did in the day. That's all complete. Tires and everything else. Just needs a new repaint. Straightforward. Up here. 
And then there's this uh, pick a clipard, Picard clipper, Picard clipard. So all that about. Anyhow, look how thick that paint we were in the back in the day when they painted them. Proper thick enamel. But what a casting, that is brilliant. So again, there's no interior in this. Um, just need a couple of tyres. Either a black, go full set of black or keep them white. I'll have to see, do some research, see which were the best. Um, and then a nice paint job. And then, from this uh, Citroen Diane as well. Which originally was yellow, which I think most of them were. Someone decided they didn't like yellow and they wanted to paint it pale blue. Or like a, a grey blue. Uh, can't tell in this light. But there you go. Another straightforward paint job. All the interior is already black, which you'd expect it not to be. You'd expect it to be yellow or white or something. Where then I end up painting on black. And then you've just got some odds and sods. I got out of Paul's Hot Wheels uh, box he had in his car. Uh, the Aston Martin, which I think is out the Fast and Furious set. Uh, Chevy Novas. The, I can't remember what film it's from. Um, just sods and sods. Um, not a lot of people collect Hot Wheels. The only time I buy Hot Wheels, I like are the ones I like. Um, nice little chopper there. Ones I like. Uh, I buy rubbish ones if they've got decent wheels so I can use the wheels on something else. And I do collect a lot of the police car ones as well. Or the state, state troopers. And then there's this one which I wish I'd have bought at the time when they came out. But I think you can still get them. Uh, they don't sell them in the shops anymore. It's actually a working spanner. Uh, they've started doing a and there you go, and a nut removal. Uh, they've started doing uh, like keychain ones now, which are Porsche, and I'm not sure the other model. It's mainly Porsches, which I've got. And then just to finish it all off, Andy Bowen and. Uh, I think with the rough handy of Martin Dare as well, got some decals which I'll uh, do for a project. That'll do for my garage, I think. When I come round to doing my garage. Some UN decals, some more Land Rover decals, like the Saint badge for the bonnet, for the Saint Jag, and then some pinstriping. I don't think the camera can pick that up, can it? No. But yeah, it's pinstriping. Just about get it there then. Um, so yeah, that was it. So it was a good day I buy all. Um, that's my local haul. I think I only spent 20 quid, I think, in the toy fair. And then six quid on these charity shops. Plus the four... That's 30 quid all in. And then all my freebies, what I've had given me. So, yeah. So, it is, uh, I know it's running 18 minutes, 19 minutes now. So, it, that's relatively quick. These short videos do turn out to be quite long. But, there you go. So, I'd like to thank uh, everyone again uh, from Staffordshire. All the guys there. Nice to meet up with you again. Third one we've been, well, I've been to with, with them all. Um, but yeah good to see you all and thanks for liking my videos so if you like them thumbs up ring the bell subscribe and get it shared please get it shared I'm on 140 odd subscribers now so I'm going to have to start videoing my builds again I've tried putting up a video this week with my Land Rover build for the DMC channel check them out on YouTube DMC diecast community model community um i've had trouble with nothing but trouble with my videos and my stills so hopefully this one will upload um this, this evening 
Uh, we've got a DMC meeting tonight, online, live chat. Um, join up, get onto the DMC channel, send PJ, that's Paul Jones, send him a message, you want to join, jump on. Loads of Q&As, we'll do a, a chat on Diecast and then it just leads to wherever it leads to. It's all the lads, we all meet up, a few beers, well we, you're in your own house and it's just like a chat room. Um, we have a few beers, have a chat about Diecast and then it just goes on to whatever it goes on to. Um, sometimes it's late on, sometimes not so late. So everyone's welcome. Like I say, check out DMC channel on the Facebook and youtube um like and su subscribe tell them i sent you um and i'll see you all soon so from me lee at diecast fixer uppers see you soon bye